today's uh, video. Uh, been looking forward to doing this one, um, especially since I just met the founder, <laughs> Diger Beetle, um, about a month ago. Uh, and I had, you know, kind of mentioned that we were adding some features to kind of get it up and running. And we just landed the last few bits of features that we kind of needed to actually start um, running it. Um, but yeah, so, so Tiger Beetle is a new OLTP uh, database um, that they've been working on. And it's got, it's got like so many different features and opinions, and, like uh, just, just all sorts of really interesting, good stuff that you don't see everywhere. Um, you, you know, uh, I, I mentioned one thing that this is, is different from like a MySQL or Postgres is it's, it's focus on OLTP. So like really transactional type of stuff. That's what the T stands for. Right. Um, it's written in Zig, which is kind of really interesting. We're starting to see like a real kind of explosion of interest in Zig. Um, not just with unikernels, but in general, um, you know, uh, Mitchell Hashimoto from um, uh, Terra from <laughs> not Terraform HashiCore, uh, you know he just donated a bunch of money to uh, to the Zig Foundation, and you know that's a huge plus. Um, lots of good stuff, and then but you know for Tiger Beetle alone, you know they also do this really kind of almost extreme form of testing. They they use this uh, simulation testing, and so they can do time travel and like all sorts of cool stuff they have a focus on like safety you know doing all these different things um one thing in particular is this direct io um this is this is actually something that in the past a lot of people didn't think was maybe good but you know it was kind of found slash revealed in 2017 2018 that it's it's kind of one of these things you, you almost have to have if you care so much about durability and reliability together um but yeah there's like i said there's there's too much to kind of like go through in this video alone i would just encourage you to go in and read all these docs um i'll just point out one more thing uh they embrace this thing called tiger style which is just like their way of coding um and it's it's got a lot a lot of really good um, points in it. So, um, there's that to go over kind of the, the stuff that we had to do to kind of get Tiger Beetle up and running. Um, you know, about a year ago, we added IO urine, uh, initial IO urine support that was added for async IO. Um, and then we just added newer IO urine support for accept, open and send and receive. Um, you, you know, this is this is a new uh, interface that developers can use um, to do lots of different things, not not just the the first thing that it was written for. Uh, what else? We we also added um, stack expansion um, support uh, that happens directly at startup uh, with Tiger Beetle, and then we uh, we make use of some other stuff that we already had. Um, and, and I'll kind of get into that. Um, oh, yeah, I guess I can show you here. So there is a config that we pass for running this. Um, I think there's some open ops tickets that need to be dealt with to, uh, to ensure this is in the package. So anyway, you, you pass this config. Uh, we fake our uname value. The reason this check is here is because they're probably wanting to make sure that the kernel you're using is supporting all these new features because a lot of you know, already deployed systems might not actually have, for instance, the new IO urine features. Um, and so that's why you'll see these uname checks sometimes. Um, obviously we're not running Linux, but we need to fake it. <laughs> and then, um, you know, we give it base volume of 1.5 gig, uh, you know, mileage might vary here. One important thing is we, we give, um, you know, four gigs of RAM uh, we uh, give it up front. And then um, we include the share MIB uh, and tempfs Klibs. Uh, the reason we do that is because it makes use of MFD create. Um, and what that allows you to, to do is uh, work with anon anonymous files. Um, and uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and show it off. 
All right, so uh, you'll notice also that I'm passing my Nanos version um, because this uh, this latest PR that we have just came out yesterday and it hasn't been merged yet. If this gets merged, then you can just do it nightly and it'll work. Um, so we uh, pop it open, it boots up. Now we can pop into the REPL um, connect and we can try it out. So this is some example code I just took straight from their docs. You know, we pop it in. Uh, just to go over it, you know, it creates two accounts. It gives it an initial ledger. It does a uh, it does a transfer, and then you know you look up the accounts to see what the actual balances are. Um, so really simple uh, to kind of get going here. I'm sure there's going to be more nanos work that we'll do to make this better and better, uh, especially as more people start adopting Tiger. Uh, Beetle for uh, for other things, but uh, but yeah, like I said, this was a this was a pretty cool application spotlight to do just because of all the unique, interesting, uh, you know, um, things that this database uh, does. All right, till next time, catch you later.